2019 is the live action adaptation of 1992's Aladdin in which Aladdin, a street urchin, enters the Cave of Wonders to retrieve a magic lamp for Jafar, who is sick of being second best and plans to become Sultan of Agrabah, while Aladdin tries to woo the Princess of Agrabah, Jasmine, with the help of the genie. Aladdin was always my favorite Disney Renaissance animated movie. So when I heard that they were actually making this live action adaptation and that Guy Ritchie was directing, I was a little skeptical, and the early trailers didn't really prove to be all that convincing either, especially with Will Smith as the genie. The CGI looked really bad, but I gotta say, there is entertainment to be had in Aladdin. I didn't love this live action adaptation, but I also didn't hate it, and I is much as people will say that these live-action remakes are unnecessary, I've always found them fascinating because I've always wondered what these animated films would look like as live-action. First of all, I believe that Guy Ritchie is getting too much flack for his directing in this movie. A lot of people are saying that his directing is very off. I think this is the most straightforward directing he has done. I think he does a very good job directing here. He refrains from a lot of his Ritchie-isms in terms of editing and style, which I think helps the movie. He really just made a straightforward narrative with nothing out of the ordinary like we usually get from a Guy Ritchie film. One of the things that I think really works in this live-action adaptation of Aladdin is the performances and the chemistry between Mina Musaud and Naomi Scott. Naomi Scott can really sing. She is really good as Jasmine as well, and I like the fact that they gave Jasmine a little bit more to do. She has goals in this movie, and I really liked Mina Musad as Aladdin. He's a street urchin, but he also has a drive. He has a dream. He doesn't want to be a street urchin anymore. It's just like the original one. While I might get flack for saying this, I did enjoy some of these versions of the songs from the original animation. Um, in this adaptation over the versions we got in the animation such as a whole new world and one jump ahead i thought that those were done they were very well in this movie they were a bit more upbeat which is what i liked a friend like me it didn't feel the same without robin williams's flavor there but will smith did a good job with friend like me just not as good as the original version and let's talk about will smith as the genie for a minute will smith as the genie is another shining point of this movie. He doesn't try to copy Robin Williams. He makes the genie his own thing, and I really appreciated that about Will Smith, because it could have just been Will Smith being Will Smith, or he could have made it his own thing. He made it his own thing, while paying homage to Robin Williams, and I commend him for doing that. And in the sequences with the songs, I thought that the choreography was done very well. Uh, Guy Ritchie, surprisingly, knew how to direct a musical, and I gotta give him all the credit because he's never directed a musical before. But he knew how to capture the spirit of the original Aladdin, and I liked a lot of the visuals in these scenes. I thought that there were a lot of colorful scenes, especially in the Friend Like Me scene. Uh, it was cool actually watching Friend Like Me come to life, and I really dug Will Smith's version even though I think the original version of that song is better. And this movie with the genie has quite a bit of humor, I found myself chuckling quite a bit at times, but this movie also has its faults, mainly with Jafar, played by Marwan Kinzari, terribly miscast, this is one of the worst performances in the movie, I just don't picture Marwan Kinzari, or a young, somebody young like Marwan Kinzari, playing Jafar, I always pictured an old gentleman like Ben Kingsley, but that's already been done. He wasn't menacing at all, and the end is just really, really bad, and the, the, a lot of the CGI is laughably bad. Uh, the CGI was something we complained about, and we were like, no, they're going to fix it up in post-production, it won't look that bad in the movie, and trust me, it is that bad. Uh, especially with the blue genie, I prefer the genie in his human form. And there's just... <clears throat> so much laughable CGI, especially towards the end. There's a cool chase sequence that's different from the original film, but then it ends with Marwin Kinzari's Jafar doing something, and the CGI just looked horrible. It looked something like out of Gods of Egypt, and it was just laughably bad. 
This movie also just felt really rushed. It seemed like Guy Ritchie, who also co-wrote the sc screenplay, uh, didn't really know how to get to the Cave of Wonders. It takes a long time to get to the Cave of Wonders, but it seems like he wanted to get there as quick as possible, and he really didn't have a roadmap as to how to get there. Once you get to the Cave of Wonders, I feel like the movie has better pacing, but within the first act of the movie, it's excruciatingly slow, and it takes and feels like it takes forever to get to the genie. Also, there are aspects of the screenplay where something happens, and then five seconds later, that thing is undone, which, to me, makes no sense. Like, why did that even have to happen in the first place? Overall, I think Aladdin has some great directing, some great performances, some great choreography, really good nostalgia with the songs, and a really good performance from uh, Will Smith as the genie, but Jafar is really bad in this movie. The CGI is really bad. It feels a bit rushed, and there's a couple of screenplay choices that I don't necessarily agree with, and I'm going to give Aladdin a C+. So guys, what did you think of Disney's live-action remake of Aladdin? Drop me a comment in the comment section below to let me know. I will leave all my links to my social media accounts in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.